welcome back to my channel if you're new here hey what's up my name is caitlin and today i am back with another declutter uh first of all let me say i'm sorry i've been away so long and i would normally start this video by saying i promise i'm gonna do better but i'm not gonna make that promise anymore <laughs> because honestly i don't know how often i'm gonna be posting anymore um right now i am a full-time college student a full-time job and a full-time mom and it, unfortunately YouTube is just kind of taken the back burner in my life. I still love YouTube, but it's just, unfortunately my passion is taking the back road from the things that I need to do at this point in my life. So I'm sorry, I'm gonna post as much as I can when I have content to post, but I'm also going to take my collection down quite a bit. Um, I'm not by any means gonna say I'm gonna be a minimalist by now because I'm still probably going to have way too much makeup, um, but I'm definitely going to cut it down quite a bit. I don't need all this makeup. There are several things in my collection that I'm sure are expired at this point, so we're going to cut it down. Um, I have in front of me my eyeshadow palette collection because this is always the hardest part, so I figured I'd start with that and hopefully get it out of the way. Um, if you are familiar with my channel, then you probably know there's several things missing. I am not getting ready. ready. <laughs> I'm not getting rid of any of my Jaclyn Cosmetics, my Lunar Beauty, my Laura Lee, or my Jeffree Star eyeshadow palettes, those are all staying. So I did not bring them down here because it would be pointless. So I've got things separated into like brands and then this little jumble over here is like my stuff I have one palette from. So we'll just get started here. Like I said, this is gonna be the hardest thing for me. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start with these just because I know that this will be a good one to start with because this one I'm definitely keeping. This is one of my favorite palettes. This, these are Lime Crime. This is the original Venus palette. I love this. I use this a lot. I travel with this a lot too if I actually travel because it's a good palette. This one, however, I've literally used once, but I don't know. This color story is not my favorite. Like I don't, I don't love it. <laughs> I was going to keep this originally because I wanted to collect all of these, but I have a collector's mentality and I have to stop that because I can't keep everything from every brand. So I'm not going to collect these. I will probably get more of them in the future as far as like the color stories that I like, but this one's going to go. Okay, next, Natasha Denona. I have two of these. Do I want either of them? Honestly, like I, Natasha Denona makes a great formula, but I don't use these ever. I've used them both maybe twice. Um, this one is called Ayana, and this one is called Peak. I think this one was BoxyCharm exclusive, but I'm gonna pass both of these. Okay. My elf stuff I'm gonna keep. These don't take up much, whoop, sorry. <laughs> these don't take up much room in my collection at all as far as the bite size go, and I really do like these as well. This one was limited edition, so I'm sorry, but this palette, oh my gosh, I love this. This is my favorite rainbow palette of all time. So we're keeping this. This is the collab with Jay Kissa. Okay, ABH. <laughs> this is gonna be a hard one. First, I can take this one out. This is my Norvina Volume 3, I believe. Yeah, Volume 3. I love this palette. Let me open it here so you guys can see. I use this a lot. This is going nowhere. Love that one. Ease, however. How cutthroat are we about to be? This is another I wanted to keep them all because I was going to collect them. I'm going to pass Subculture. I love this palette. This palette gets so much hate, but I do love this palette. But I'm going to pass it because you can't get it anymore and... I don't know. I don't use it ever. Oh, Alyssa Edwards. I've barely touched this. Sorry, Alyssa. You're going to. The Carly palette, I just didn't like. So I'm going to get rid of it. Ooh, Sultry is probably going to stay. Yeah, Sultry stay. And I don't have anything like this really in my collection. So it's going to stay Riviera. I do like this palette, but I feel like I can get the same look with the Norvina palette and definitely with in conjunction with some of my like Jeffree Star palette. So it's going to go too. Wow. Okay. 
Color pop. This one's gonna be harder. Oh no. Um, this is stain. I broke this, unfortunately, but I am keeping this. I do want to get a new one eventually and replace this, but I absolutely love Grogu. My son's room is done in um, Mandalorian, so this has to stay. Oh, Sailor Moon. I don't use this ever, but I love Sailor Moon. <sighs> You're going in a maybe pal. We're going to keep her right there for now. See, I love these. Oh my gosh. But do I use it? Um, I think. Is it this one I like more? Okay. Um, I want to keep these. I really do. I, th I think I'm going to keep them. But I'm also going to keep Hocus Pocus. But then again, no I'm not. Because this looks so much like the Lunar Beauty. Um, that one palette. I'm going to get rid of it. I need to stop holding on to things just to hold on to them. Mulan. I'm going to pass. I love Mulan. But that palette, I just don't. I don't know. The Zodiac palette. I'm going to pass. I'm going to pass it. So jaded. I'm definitely going to pass. I don't know. I loved this palette at first, but the more I use it, the more I'm just like, eh. I feel like ColourPop Shadows, this kind of formula, always creases on me so bad. I have hooded eyes. It's so unfortunate, but okay. Sailor Moon. I'm going to keep Sailor Moon. I got rid of a lot of my ColourPop collection, so we're going to keep that one. Okay. Start with this little pile first here. This is by Rare Beauty. I don't know. I've definitely used this, but I don't remember if I liked it or not. I'm going to hold on to her for now. This little guy from Fenty is horrible. Like, I thought I'd already got rid of it, honestly. But, yeah, this can go. Snapshot, terrible. Trust Luce, this is a good one. But I don't need it, so it can go. Ooh, this is definitely staying. This is by Belle and Argent. Or Argent, Argent, I don't know how to say it. It's kind of like a boring color story. But it's so pretty. I love everything by this brand. It's one of my favorites. Okay, Ciate. Let's see. Can I open you? Oof, I forgot I dug my fingernail on that one. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of it. And then this is by Visart. I think I'm gonna keep this one. Maybe. I don't know. Do I need it? Pep Dot is definitely stain. I love this palette. Such a good formula. Okay. Now, move on to the last little pile here. Cab Cosmetics. Eh. I think I can pass that one. This, I will never get rid of. This is my, like, introduction to YouTube. The first thing that made me fall in love with makeup is this palette. So I'm going to keep it. I don't use it anymore, obviously, but... I'm gonna keep it. This is by Prism Makeup. I got this for Christmas, and at first I was like, eh, but it's so pretty, and I really liked the look I got out of it. I don't know anything about the brand, though, but I think I'm gonna hold on to it, honestly. Huda Beauty is obviously staying. I love this palette. My Too Faced Chocolate Gold is another one that I love. I really hold on to it just for the shade, though, but... Mm. <laughs> it's stain. I'm keeping it. Okay. I have not used this yet at all, but it's definitely been swatched. I'm going to pass this. Uh, the Transition Palette from Dominique Cosmetics. I have the Jeffree Star um, Nude Palette, so I don't need this. I, I don't think I'm ready to pass on these yet. So my Makeup Geek shadows, which I know Makeup Geek is going out of business or already did, and then I have one Jeffree Star. I don't think I'm ready to give up those yet. My Mirage palette is definitely staying. I love this. And now that I'm seeing this next to this, I don't think I need the Visart. So that one can go. And then Tati Beauty will never leave my collection. Okay, so honestly, it's pretty like this little pile back out here. So I realistically did a lot better than I thought I was going to. Like, this is what I'm keeping, which, again, still a lot. I'm very well aware of that. 
this is not even all of them because I don't have my other stuff down here, but that's what I'm keeping. And then this little box over here is full of get rid of. So pretty good. Okay, what I have here now is like my essentials that sit on my desk and my setting sprays. I'm sorry if this video quality is shaky. I am holding my phone right now, so sorry. But we'll start here. I don't even know what's in this thing at this point. Um, okay, I've got an Ahava mineral hand cream. I have two other hand creams on my desk. I don't need this one, but I like more, honestly. Okay, I've got a Medusa's lip scrub. Mm, I don't need that either. I have another one in here. This one right here is by e.l.f. Cosmetics. I like this one a lot more, so we'll keep that. This honestly needs to throw it away. This is the Juice Beauty Anti-Wrinkle Eye Treatment. I've had this for so long, so we're just going to set that over to the side and throw that away later. Oh, do you have the God's Under Eye Volumizing Collagen Pads? I forgot I had those. Okay, this I use pretty much daily. Clean Slate Clearing Mist. Definite keep. Um, 111 Skin Pollution Defense Booster. I don't think I need that. That can go. I'm literally even mixing out my piles. And the last few things in here, I've got my Glow Recipe Pineapple Bright Serum. I do use that from time to time. Not always. But I like it. Don't know what these are. Hydrating masks? Eh, we'll pass those. This I use every day. This is the CEO Sunday Riley Moisturizing Cream. There's something else under there. Definite keep. Oh, my Girlactic Lip Balm. Definite keep. Love that. And then these are really good too. These are like exfoliating pads from... Where do you buy? Go to? I don't know. I use those a lot too. So let's just... See if I can't make this a little bit nicer here. I do. I want you to fit in here too. Okay, yeah, that's as good as that's gonna get. Okay, I moved my essentials and I just have my setting sprays here. Um, this is honestly gonna be kind of hard because I use most of these. Like this one can go. This hurt my face. <laughs> it smells so good. It's mango coconut from Milani, but I did not like this. I wanted to like this because I want a good um, cruelty-free drugstore option, but not that one. Okay, this I'm obviously keeping. It's almost gone by a glow recipe. I do like the item beauty one. This is empty. This is the Morphe Jeffree Star. Um, I need to move it out of my collection here because I don't want to get rid of it, but it's empty. Um, <laughs> my doll's creeping in the background. <laughs> Tarte Stay Spray. I love KBD. I love this I can honestly just throw away. This is just like a mishmash of setting sprays that I use to wet my brushes sometimes, but like I never actually use it. The Fenty I like, Cover Effects I like, and the Urban Decay I love. So yeah, that was poor. Okay, next thing we're going to go through pretty quickly is this drawer. This is just like stuff that I haven't used yet that honestly I need to just go through. Like these are literally three bags. These are two Ipsy's and a Medusa's makeup bag that I never even opened. <laughs> Their stuff is still in there, so we'll go through those last. Okay, let's see. This can go. This is a Medusa's makeup lipstick. I'm not going to use it. I do want to try this. Okay, this is a problem. Oh, my allergies. I'm so sorry. I want to try the e.l.f. Where are you? I think this is like a glowy... Yeah, we'll pass it. Complex culture, I definitely want to try. Shanna B. Miami. Press Pigment Duo. Let's see. I can't open it. I can't open it. Oh, there we go. Okay. That's cute. Honestly, I might give this to my mom. She loves flamingos. She might like that. Okay. Um, this I can pass. It's just a little shadow trio from Peony. It's cute, but I'm not going to use it. Lashes I'm definitely not going to use. Um, these little glitters I don't use. That's really pretty, though. Koki I'll try. I want to try these mascaras. These are all mascaras that I 
haven't tried. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's because it's on the side. What are you? I can go. Um, this is my favorite mascara of all time. So it's a backup. It can stay. Keep the Ico. The Emergence I love. Keep the Elf 2. Okay, so let's move this one out of the way because we know we're keeping all of that stuff. And I'll, of course, reorganize this later. Okay. Elf Cookies and Cream Primer. Definitely want to try that. This little Halo Glow Stick can go. Ooh, I love these for, um, yeah. Highlighter. Iconic London Bronzer I want to try. What do you do? No. Facial Serum can go. Violet Voss. This is a blush. Oof. We'll pass that little elf duos. I have like three of them. I want to try them though. ABH glitter. I'm going to pass that along. It just looks too dark. I'm never going to actually try it. This is a K-Voss something or other. It's so hard to open this stuff one-handed. Ah, okay. Oh, it's a little highlighting trio. I'll pass that along too. This I can pass on B Cosmetics. And this can go. This is a luminizer. Okay. Now over here, <laughs> we've got Jelly Pong Pong. This can go. Okay, I just quickly paused so I could move stuff around more. This can go because it has too much glitter in it. It's a Sun Kiss Bronzer by Venusa's Makeup. I am very curious about this. Tulip Face Mist. Yeah, we're going to keep that for now. I keep holding on to this and then never trying it. It's the Hard Candy Marilyn Monroe eyeshadow palette, so it's going to go, finally. Tower 28, I've been wanting to try. That's a spray. This is really pretty, but I don't use liquid eyeshadows for Medusa makeup, so it can go. I don't use liquid eyeshadows in general, not just Medusa makeup. Um, this can go. I don't like the little glitters. I love these lip balms, so I'm going to keep both of those from Medusa makeup. Colt Lashes by Peony. I'm just going to pass that along to oh, gosh Disney designer I'm gonna pass I've never used any of these beauty for real lip gloss I'm gonna pass Medusa's makeup I'm gonna pass it's a liquid lip another Medusa's makeup lipstick I'm gonna pass on this is like a uh, liquid um lip exfoliator I kind of want to keep that I want to try it out it's kind of weird this looks really pretty. It's a context lip balm or lipstick, if I remember correctly. It looked really pretty. Yeah, I want to try that out. This little guy is really good. I love Medusa makeup lip balm. Um, Illumon, that can go. It's either a lip gloss or a lipstick. Rage Against the Bean. I'm gonna keep that. I love lip balm. And then I hold on to these lip liners for too long. They can go. Okay, I quickly organized it so it's eyes, lips, face, and then we're gonna go through these bags I never opened and just see if I want to keep these things and try them out or not. Okay, this one is Mirror Mirror. Never heard of that brand before. It's just a little highlight. I'm gonna pass it. Um, Body scrub, I'll pass on. There you. Candy Melts Vegan Lip Balm. You know I'm a sucker for lip balm. It can stay. And the last thing in this one is Kaleido Cosmetics Obsidian Waterproof Eyeliner. If this is blue, it's staying. Putting things with my teeth. Always a fun time. Okay. Don't know what color this is. Oh, obsidian's black, duh. Yeah, we'll pass on that. Now that I ruined the box. Oh, well. And then that is everything in this little bag. Next Ipsy bag. This one's super cute. I think this was maze. Way body cleanser. No, I'll pass. Trust Luce Beauty is this little eyeshadow duo. Probably. Eh, open. 
Oh. What is that? Is this an eyeshadow? Date night. Oh, cream blush. No, thank you. Um, Naked Cosmetics. Lip scrub. Oh, I love these by Naked Cosmetics. That stain. Um, Balance Me Aha Glow Mask. No, that can go. And then, last thing. Ooh, pretty. Dazzle Boss Lip Gloss. That's really pretty, but I'm going to pass it along. Okay, that bag's empty. Last one is from Medusa's Makeup. I see something rainbow. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see. First thing in here is by Jelly Juice by Trifle Cosmetics. I think I used to have these, and I passed them along. Let's see. Yeah, these aren't bad, but I've already tried these, and I was like, eh. They're okay, so I'll pass that. Oh, cute. The rainbow thing is this little sponge. Um, I don't really use makeup sponges, and I have, like, three of them already, so I'm going to pass it. It's really cute, though. I love the rainbow. Oh, oh it's a little rainbow clip. I'll hang on to that for, like, when I'm doing my makeup and you clip my hair back. Beach Bum Frosted Blush. Do I even need to open this? Okay, yeah. No, I'm going to pass that. Um, other glitter. They love to throw these in there. Pass that. And last thing in here is ooh, a liquid lipstick. Really pretty color. But realistically, I already have a color like this and I don't wear it super often, so it can go. Next section is my lipsticks, my lip liners, and my lip glosses. I am going to try to be super cutthroat with this because I, I don't need these. I don't wear them all. By any means so we're gonna we're gonna try first thing kiss and smink twisted or not twisted uh something eddie funk house eddie funk house that's what they're called twisted kisses can go love it but i don't wear it oh gosh lumiere i'm gonna keep lumiere kiss and smink can go marilyn monroe can go i do really like that bell in argent is going nowhere that's my favorite I also love the elf ones. This honestly just needs thrown away at this point. It's the elf, or not elf, the um, cover girl, Katie Cat Mask. These are so old. It needs thrown away. I love the NYX It's Stain, the Mulan ColourPop Can Go, the Marc Jacobs. This is in the shade Slow Burn. It can go. Taurus is Stain by ColourPop. Trifle Cosmetics is staying. I do love these. And these can probably both go. Yeah, these are both going. Okay, I'm happy with that. That is awesome. Honestly, yeah, I'm happy with that. Okay, so let's move that out of the way. I don't know why this is even over here because this is supposed to be on my other side, but ow, let me see if I want this. I can't even open it. I'm just going to pass it. Um, honestly, the only lip liner I wear is the Dominique Cosmetics, and I wear this, like, all the time, so it's going to stay, and I'm going to pass on the rest of these. <laughs> That's going to have to find a new home because it being in that drawer by itself is sad. Okay, the last section for this drawer, or, yeah, this drawer system is my lip glosses. Ugh, this one's going to be kind of hard. Um... Here's the thing. I wear Lunar Beauty and I wear Laura Lee and I occasionally wear this one. I'm going to keep all of those. I'm going to get rid of my Morphe X Jeffree Star. I'm going to get rid of the Maneater by Tarte. I do not like that one. And this one was actually kind of good, but eh, Rowan. I like it, but I don't need it. So yeah, my lip gloss drawer is still too full, but... I'm not passing my Lunar Beauties or my Laura Lee's, so yeah, next. Okay, this is Liquid Lips and Lip Balm slash Scrubs. This one's going to be a lot harder. <sighs> Gosh, I have to find a better place to store these too because the sun kind of like beats down on them. And I was noticing like this, this isn't that old. Like this is by Truly Beauty and I actually really liked this and I'm sad about it. But it's like ruined now. If I could open it and show you. It's, it's gross. Like, 
it dried out from the sun so it has to be thrown away which is really sad and i'm hoping all of my lip balms don't look like that but yeah okay let's let's dive in here start here um honestly like most of these are gonna be okay for me to pass on uh atomic makeup can go it's good but i don't wear like colors like this realistically very often this one's really pretty. Is this complex culture? Yeah, I want to hold on to this one, though. Um, this can go... I don't even know the name of this brand. Solo look. But, like, I'm obviously holding on to my Lunar Beauty stuff. I'll get rid of the KVD. I do like it, though. Um, I'll get rid of the Smashbox, too. I think I'm realistically... I'll get rid of the complex culture. I think I'm just going to hold on to, like the stuff I wear like I love I like what I like you know I feel like I should keep more because like I should have more options to share with you guys but I don't I don't wear them this is what I wear I wear Lunar Beauty, Laura Lee Los Angeles and Jeffree Star Cosmetics and um Jacqueline I love hers but I don't have any of hers in these and even these like this one is old and needs probably, um, not thrown away. I don't want to throw it away, but it needs to not be in my collection anymore because I can't wear it. But the rest of these should be fine. So, yeah, there's that one. <laughs> Let's move this out of the way. And then... Okay, guys, so fun fact, my camera died while I was filming and it is now like three days later so if you think the setup just randomly changed the lighting changed anything like that it, it did you're not crazy um yeah <laughs> my phone died and i just stopped recording for four days so we're back also fair warning it is the fourth while i'm filming this so it is still daylight out but that hasn't stopped my neighbors from shooting off fireworks so you might hear that in the background i'm sorry but anyway, so we are still on lips here. <laughs> I've got my lip balms here and then my um, nude liquid lips underneath. Lip balms is a hard category for me because I, I really like lip balm. This is a Jeffree Star lip scrub in the shade or scent. Mm, root beer still smells amazing. We're going to keep that. Okay. We're still on the ruthless train here though. Like I'm still, I'm still trying to be ruthless. My Bali balms are definite keep. Jane Airedale, I've had this for a long time. Honestly, it's kind of looking gross. <laughs> I might have to throw this one away. Yeah, I think that one's gonna go in the trash, unfortunately. Beauty for real. How are you looking? This one still looks okay. I'm gonna hang on to this one. And then my Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star Stain. How about you? Lovebird, I think this is like the only one of these I kept. I love these though, they're stained. <laughs> so, you know, we're gonna be ruthless, but like, here's my lip balms that I'm keeping. But to be fair, one of these is gonna be moved downstairs because my downstairs lip balm is done. Like, I used it also. I'm gonna move one of these, probably one of the belly balms, but there we go. Okay, so here comes the hardest part <laughs> of the lip part for me, and that is my nude liquid lips. This is hard because there are so many formulas that I love and I don't, I'm not going to get rid of the ones I love. Why would I? Like, my Jaclyn Cosmetics. Let's just, can I find all those here? I literally wore one of these yesterday. I'm going to wear one probably again today. I love them. Yeah. There's all my Jaclyn's. Um, I have Confidence. I have... Oh, hi. This is probably my favorite one. Although I do love this one too. Empowered. Oh, wait, no. This is the my least favorite one, actually. This, this one is the one that I love. Um, it's called Truth. And then the last one is called Outspoken. So I love all of these dearly. Empowered is my least favorite just because I can't wear it on its own. Like, I feel like I have to mix that one because it is so light. But that's fine. All right. So those are staying. <laughs> My Lunar Beauty, you guys know I collect Lunar Beauty. I love Lunar Beauty. Oh, I missed a Jacqueline. This is Get Real. So, six Jacquelines. But, 
yeah, if you've watched my channel at all, then you already know I collect Lunar Beauty. I love Lunar Beauty. It's not going anywhere. I feel like I definitely have more than this, but this is Daydream, Zaya, and Halloween, Hallow's Eve in that order. Those are staying. Okay, this Jeffree Star one is technically staying, but it's not usable anymore. This is one of the things that inspired this declutter. This is gross. <laughs> like It's dried out. I cannot get any more of this out of here. But I'm going to keep the packaging just like I did with the other one. Because um, again, you know, I have a Manny obsession and that was his collab. So, holding on to that. <laughs> this is not, not easy, you guys. And Laura Lee is going to stay because I love Laura Lee's lipsticks. I have most of them. This is Nakey Nakey. I've got... Jaybird. This one is Topless. Topless is my favorite. And then I have this one, which is Cabana. Love all of these. Um, this is this is hard. I'm keeping my Jeffree Star ones. You guys, Jeffree Star is like one of the best lip formulas there is. I feel like I want to keep the Elf just because I got rid of most of my drugstore stuff here. And I'm kind of thinking about gearing my channel more towards drugstore. Let me know if you guys think that's a good idea or not, I guess. But I'll go ahead and declutter the Huda and the KBD for sure. Those can go. But I really like this one too. This is um, Halsey's line. It's the About Face. It's in the shade Last Goodnight. But you know, it fits so nicely like right here <laughs> that I think I can keep it. But yeah, this is the problem here is... This is overly full, like, badly over full. Let's see, can I just, like, can I make this work? Eventually, I want to have all of the Jacqueline whips, so eventually they'll probably have their own drawer. But for now, I don't have that, so this is going to be how this looks, I guess. Not my best work, but... It, it works, I guess. Okay, so now I very messably have my eye stuff here. This is like non-eyeshadow eye stuff, except there's a couple like singles in here. But yeah, this first little basket here is supposed to be just brow stuff, but there's other stuff thrown in here for sure. <laughs> um, so I guess let's just go through this. This is my NYX Control Freak Eyebrow Gel. I just used this yesterday. I love this stuff. I know it's still good. Same with this, just used it yesterday. It's the ABH uh, Brow Definer. I have the shade medium brown, if you're curious. This little guy, this goes through so many declutters, and honestly, it, oh no, is it, oh no, it's still not dry, okay, okay. Oh. <laughs> Can you see that? No. Too much stuff in my way, but yeah, this gets through so many declutters, and I still never wear it, and I just, I don't know. I don't feel like I can pass this along because it's too old. But I also don't want to just throw it away because I do love it. So, I don't know. We're going to set that aside for now. We'll think about her. This is another product that I found in my collection that sparked this declutter. Because this is rancid. It's so bad. Like, you can't tell by looking at it because it's just eyebrow gel. But it smells very bad. So, it needs to be thrown away. Glitter glue. This is from NYX. I never use this, but I hold on to it just in case someday I'm going to wear glitter, you know? Billion Dollar Brows Eye Gel. Let's see, I'm gonna have to smell my eyebrow gels. Oh yeah, that one's not good. Wow, <laughs> that smells like paint thinner. Okay. Woo! <laughs> Cover Girl Eyebrow Gel. That one smells fine, so it can stay. This is my favorite brow gel, by the way, if you guys are curious. Um, Wonder Beauty. Also smells fine, that one can stay. I don't think I need more than three, but I think three is all I have left, honestly, except this one. But I don't like this one just because I don't like tinted eyebrow gels. If this was clear, I'd love it. It's by ABH. I'm pretty sure it's fine. Yeah. Because this is like my newest brow product, so it can be passed along. Okay. Um, next, let's see. This Tristique pencil can go. I've used this literally once and I didn't care for it. I do like this hard candy. It can stay for now. Fenty is really good. 
Wonder Beauty. Do I like you? I don't remember. Oh my gosh, I don't remember. I'm gonna try that out again. Million Dollar Brows can go. Okay, <laughs> I'm knocking things over now. This can go too. This is a single shadow from Medusa's Makeup. It's really pretty. I've literally only worn it once, but I do like the Medusa's big shadows. I like them more for highlight than I do for eyeshadow. I have a couple in my highlighter drawer that you'll see here in a little bit that I keep for that reason, but this one can go. Oh, I've had this so long. <laughs> but I still love it. It stays. The brow bar, I'm pretty sure I lost part of this. Yeah, I lost a little pencil to this. So honestly, it can, it can go. I'll pass that along. Iconic London, I like to keep, so we'll keep that. And then this is my one and only little eyebrow curler back there. Eyebrow curler, eyelash curler is what I was trying to say there. So this fits a lot better now. And then we can even just keep him in here. Yeah, that looks so much nicer. Okay, next. What is next here? Oh, I forgot about this guy. I want to keep it. I'm going to keep it. I was doing so much better <laughs> the last a couple days ago. I don't know. I was just in a worse mood, I guess. But here is eyeliners. The vulgar is staying. Most of the black ones are probably going to stay, but I don't have many. Um, yeah, I like all of these. This is Pixie. It's really good for the waterline. I need to sharpen it, though. Il Maquillage is my favorite for the top. KVD is also really good. And then I have the basket case liner, which is also phenomenal. I have another, oh, it's right here. Yeah, Real Her Black Eyeliner. I was literally wearing that yesterday, so it was on my desk. But yeah, those are gonna stay. Um, <laughs> this is technically black too, but I keep it in here because this is like my colorful, more fun eyeliners over here, which are honestly, Probably all gonna stay. I'm pretty sure this next one is this the one that I was like, yeah, this is bad. No, that's good still. It's just a white liner right there. I've got pixie blue, white from NYX. I've got three brown. Oh, I guess I have two. Nope, I did three. Because that's a KVD top liner. I have blue in e.l.f. But, but this is like a bright blue and this is like a dark blue. Um, justifying keeping all of these. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, I love this brown, but do I need three browns? Let's see here. I'm going to straight sharpen. What are words? I'm going to swatch all three of these real quick and see if I think I need them all. Also, I'm so sorry. I keep sniffing. My allergies are going crazy. We celebrated 4th of July last night, and I was around fire, and that makes my allergies go nuts. So here are the three. I have ColourPop, One Size, and... Dose of Colors. Dose of Colors is my favorite one, so I'm definitely keeping that. I think I'll pass the one size just because you have to sharpen it and I'm lazy. And then, do I need this one? Do I need the color pop too? It's definitely a different shade. I don't need it. I'm gonna pass that one too. Okay, so that's a lot better than it was for sure. Still takes up two baskets. So can I fit these in one? I didn't do that because I didn't want color things in this mix, but you know, honestly, I think I'm taking them out of these all together anyway, so we'll see. If you guys want to see like an updated how my makeup looks after I'm done rearranging everything, let me know. I'd be happy to do that. Okay, so here is mascaras. I have two baskets. We're getting this down to one for sure. Right off the bat, this is Keep. This is Marilyn Monroe by Hard Candy. This is my favorite mascara. It's a definite dupe for the Too Faced Better Than Sex. If you guys love that one like me, you'll love this. Speaking of, <laughs> we're going to keep that one too because, you know, love them both. Okay. I don't remember how I feel about this, so it's going to go. The only thing with these is I kind of feel weird about, like, giving away mascara. I don't know. So we'll put that in like a maybe thing but I don't think I wore this one to be honest with you I definitely didn't wear this one so that one I can pass that's fine it's open but I've never worn it okay Kevin Aquan I do really like this little buxom one is good but like realistically I'm not gonna use this it can be thrown away I've used it a lot 
Okay, um, what are you? Victoria Beckham, did I like this one? Oh, I think I really liked this for the lower lash. I think this is the bucket of things I liked, and this was the bucket of things I was trying. This one can go, though. I used this recently, and it just wasn't performing the same, so I think it's just time for it to go, to be honest, which is sad, but true. Okay. Same with the KVD one. This one is not performing the way it used to. It's very dry, like, very dry. Okay, so that one's going to go to... I love the it Cosmetics Lash Blowout. That one's for sure staying. Okay, so honestly, we've got these. I know there's at least two more in here I'm going to keep, which are this one, the ABH. This is very similar to the Too Faced also, like the wand and everything. I have a preference in mascara, you guys. So we're going to keep that one for sure. This one can go. I don't know if I used this. I feel like I did once and I didn't really care for it. I don't like wands like this. Um, it's Dragon Lash, so it can go. Let's see. I keep this just so I have a waterproof, but I've literally never worn it, so that one can go. I feel like this one's gonna go in the trash because I have used it. Um, I've never used this. It's so big by Elizabeth Mott. That one's not even open, so I'm gonna pass it. Fenty Beauty, I do not like this mascara at all, which is weird because I think the one, oh yeah, it's one of these ones. These are like my least favorite ones. I hate these. So, don't like this one at all. I am, however, going to keep this because I do really like this mascara, the It Cosmetic Superhero. And, you know, that looks good to me. I'm happy with that. Okay. So now... We're gonna move on to face products, so I do have to move you guys. So we'll be right back. Okay, we're back, and I already don't want to do this. <laughs> um, I don't know why primers is so hard for me, but primers is just something that I don't ever want to let go of, honestly. Like, I don't know why. But okay, we're gonna start in the middle here with foundations, just because I don't have many. Um, this one I wear pretty much every day. It's a Too Faced Do You Full Coverage Fresh Glow Foundation in the shade Snow. Um, I don't think they make this anymore, but you can still get it at like TJ Maxx and stuff. It's my favorite. I wear it a lot. Believe Beauty, I wear when I want like more full coverage, so we're gonna hold on to that one. Um, Elf has like been my go-to for years. I love this one, so it's definitely staying. And then you have this one, which is the first indication that I needed to go through my makeup <laughs> was this one. And it breaks my heart because I love this foundation, but I put this on, I was in a rush getting ready for work and I put it on and I was like, wow, that doesn't smell good, but we're just gonna go with it because I had to hurry. Um, my face immediately started like burning and got bright red. I had to completely do my makeup, like take my makeup off. I had to scrub my face and do an exfoliant. So this needs to be thrown away, which breaks my heart because you know, Becca doesn't exist anymore. Um, these two I do love, but you know, they've been here forever. I think it's time for them to go. I do want to purchase one of these. I like both of them equally, so I want to purchase at least one in the full size eventually once we get rid of some of these, which three foundations in my collection is crazy to me, two of which are drugstore, so, you know, that's cool. <laughs> okay, and then over here we've got concealers, and this is the last thing in my collection so far that I like know immediately is expired, and that's this Morphe Fluidity Concealer. Love this stuff, but it is expired. It needs to go. Okay, so I only have four concealers, and I don't really plan on getting rid of any of them. I love them all. I use the Jeffree Star one to brighten my eyes. This uh, Born This Way by Too Faced is amazing, very full coverage. NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop is like my daily concealer. And then everyone loves the Tarte. This is what I use when I travel, if I travel. But yeah, I'm not gonna get rid of any of those, honestly. Okay, powders. <laughs> this is gonna be hard. Ah, I love all of these. Okay. Honestly, this is the one that I'm like, I don't care about this, but it's nice to have like a drugstore option. So it's gonna stay for now. The KVD is amazing. Again, I use that one for traveling. Jeffree Star is amazing. Heart Shape Tape's amazing. I think I'm gonna pass the Becca just because it doesn't exist anymore. I do love this. I still have quite a bit left, but you know, 
It's time. Such a good powder. I love this stuff. Okay. Too Faced. I love the Jaclyn one. Is obviously not going anywhere. This Elf one can go. I don't like this, honestly. And then this is like a different type of powder. It's by Laura Mercier, but I use it for like all over my face. Similar to the Jaclyn one, I guess, but in a like compact instead of a loose formula. I don't want to get rid of any of these. I like all of these. I wear all of these regularly. Okay. Yeah. I don't want to get rid of those. <sighs> Ideally, I wanted my powders and my primers to fit in one. I don't know that that's going to happen, but maybe I can fit my foundations in with my powders. We'll see. Okay. <laughs> See, this is the problem is these take up so much room, but I love these. The Stila is so good. I use this all the time. It's not going. It's not. I'm keeping it. I love this one. I've been using this Touch of Soul like a lot. I wore this yesterday. It's so good. It's the Icy Sherbert. Yeah, I wear this a lot. I have a next one somewhere that's similar to this. It's not in my drawer for some reason. But that one's probably going to get cluttered when I find it. Um, this is the Touch and Soul Glassy. I think I can pass this one if I'm going to keep the Sherbert. But honestly, this one might be... No, it's still good. It smells fine, looks fine. And again, it doesn't really look fine. But yeah, I think this one needs to be thrown away. Sad. Okay. Glow Recipe is one of my favorite brands. That's not going anywhere. Farsali, I love these. Ah, I do love these, but you know, Farsali is not a company anymore. It's time for these to go. The unicorn one I barely used. The liquid glass one I use a lot. This one <laughs> survives declutter after declutter, but then again, do I have a drugstore one if I don't keep that? No, I don't, so this is gonna stay purely because it's drugstore. I do love it, but. Okay, this Tarte Glotion. Have I used this? Huh. I don't remember using this, so I'm gonna pass it because if I use it, I might love it. Um, cover Effects, Gripping Primer. I think this one is really old. Yeah, this one needs to go. Oh wait, no. Not this one. Is it this one? The Blurring Primer. One of these I just bought recently, and one of them is really old. This one's the old one. <laughs> yeah. The Blurring Primer needs to go. The Cover FX one I am gonna, or the uh, Gripping one I am gonna pass, though. Okay. I want to keep this, for sure. The Hangover RX. The base tape I do like. Um... Rodeal can go. So honestly, can I fit these in with? Let's see. Probably not, but you know. Maybe. Oh, it's so close though. Okay, yeah, we're gonna have to rearrange that, but it is very close to fitting <laughs> in one little container. Okay, next drawer. This drawer looks even worse on camera. Oh my god. This is my like Highlight, bronzer, blush, and then face palette drawer. It's kind of a mishmash. Everything is in here, but <laughs> this one's going to be difficult too. Okay, so right off the bat, you know, this is Stain because it's Lunar Beauty and I adore this. Like, my one, like, makeup wish <laughs> is that they would release these in singles. And this Medusa one specifically, I would own, like, seven because it is my favorite highlight of all time. Okay, and then Moon Prism obviously has to stay as well. It's a blush palette. Also insanely good. Okay. Don't even know where to start here. Mm. It's just... It's highlighters. Uh, the Medusa's makeup is great, but do I need it? I don't think I do, so I think I can pack. I don't know. I love it, though. Okay, that's staying in the movies for now. This Koki one, I'm going to pass. I do like this, but I feel like it's too dark on my skin. The formula is amazing, though. I want to try one of these in a lighter shade. I want to do, like, a full face of Koki, honestly. OK, 
Okay, I be why I literally wore this yesterday. But like seeing it with all the other things in my collection on my thumb there. Yeah. It just doesn't stack up with everything else. So I think I'm gonna pass that one too. My Ofras are obviously staying. I have Madison Miller, um, Moon Dance, and then I have one by Talia Marr. It's called Covent Garden. I love both of these. They're staying. And then this Pixie one. Oh, it's so good. It's by Aspen o no Aspen Ovard, London Luster is the shade. This one is very old. <laughs> but it's still so good. Like, I don't know, you guys. Like, I don't want to pass that one on because I love it. So I think it's gonna stay. I also I need like a good drugstore, but then again, I have the palette. So it's gonna stay for now. Um, those are obviously staying. Those are Lunar Beauty. Those go nowhere. Ideally, I just want one thing of highlighters. So I'm going to pass the Medusa's makeup. Even though it breaks my heart a little on the inside. Okay, these are staying. These are by Jaclyn Cosmetics. I have the shade Skylight and the shade Star Power. I know she just re-released some of these too in like a permanent collection. I'm very excited to purchase those. One of these is way too dark and one of them is like pretty much too dark <laughs> but you know we make it work this is something i no longer wear because i'm pretty sure it's expired like it just doesn't swatch well anymore at all but yeah but it's it's you know manny so it has to stay it's jeffree star cosmetics his little brand um his little brand his little collab is what i was trying to say there so i think i'm gonna put this with those lipsticks and just like move them out of my actual collection Okay, Complex Culture goes nowhere. I love this so much. I do wish it was a single though, because I don't wear that bronzy shade at all. It's way too dark for me, but I love this. This is a problem already, they're not fitting. And then these are both by Jaclyn Cosmetics, so they're not going anywhere. Okay, so what's back here? Let's see. Oh, I've literally worn this once. It's not bad at all, it's by Cab Cosmetics, but it's not something I ever reach for, so it can go. It's just taking up real estate at this point. Okay. Bronzers, bamboo bronzer stays. I believe beauty I do like. Um, this is a maybe for now. I need to see what other... Oh, I have Milani. So yeah, Milani stain. This one can go. I was going to hold on to this for a good drugstore option, but I forgot Milani exists. <laughs> so this LYS one is also really good, though. So that one's probably gonna have to stay as well. My NYX is what I use to contour. Um, this is by Shan, Shades by Shan. I think I've worn this like once. Yeah, it's fine, but it's a little orangey, so it can go. This is my only cream bronzer and it's Jaclyn, so it's staying. This is really good though, I do like this a lot. now swatching things on my leg just for the fun of it I need to stop <laughs> and then of course my blush and bronzer duo from Jacqueline Estaine I want all of these you guys like so bad and then I think I can pass this on this is by um LMR it's really good but I don't need it when I just kept all of that so you can go and then we have blushes over here well first thing let's get this out of the way Park Avenue Princess Oh, it's so good, but do I need it? We're gonna keep that in a maybe for now. We'll see how much room I have left because I do like that one. Okay, blushes. I have this little guy by Winky Lux. It's my only cream blush. I do like it a lot and the packaging is gorgeous. So we're gonna keep it. Okay, these are all Tarte. I do love Tarte blushes, but I've had these for a while, you know? I do love them though. I think I'm gonna hold on to this one just because it's so close to being done and I love it. But, or I mean, I think I'm gonna declutter this one. But I'm probably just gonna throw this one, I, one away. No one wants that little remainder. This one is Shima and Shake. Let's see, Shima and Shake, and then this one's called Feisty. Oh, I just dug my nail in it, cute. I think I'm gonna pass Shima and Shake for sure. Feisty. We're gonna see how much room I have left for, because 
I do like it a lot. Hourglass obviously stays. The Madison Miller one I love from Ofra. This one I'm going to pass on though. It's Ofra again and I do love Orpha, Orpha's, wow, Ofra's formula, but I don't love this color on me. It's called Bellini, so I'm going to pass it along. Some of these Milan blushes. Oh, I love them, but they don't. They don't look great on me. I think I'm going to keep... Mm. You know what? No, I'm gonna pass both. I love Mulan and that's why I keep these, but they're not great. I love the ColourPop blush formula as well. It's really good, but I don't wear those ever. Patrick Ta is a definite keep. Um, Alan Mar, I do love this, but again, I don't think I need it with everything I'm keeping. So let's see. I do have room for feisty though, so we're gonna keep that. Yeah, my blush looks great, which definitely is about to not once I get to the palettes, but Jaclyn, this is Stain. This is the Flash palette. It's her, like, original launch highlighter palette. Love. Both her blush palettes, Rouge Romance. What are these called? Rouge Romance and Rouge Affair. Keeping both of those. You can see them open, probably. There you go, and there you go. Oh, gosh. This one, oh my, this is an oldie but a goodie. I wore this to death, you guys. But I honestly don't think I need it anymore. Wow. Yeah, we're gonna pass this along. Okay. That was a big moment. <laughs> okay, the Rach Loves Pixie. I love this palette. Okay, so I feel like I don't need this and this. I think I like the palette more than the single. But then again, the single is easier to store. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm tempted to almost pass both along, but I don't have a drugstore highlighter if I do that. I think I'm going to keep the palette and I'm going to pass the single. Okay. The rest of these are gonna be keeps, you guys. Yeah, I've got the KVD Shade and Light. This is like my go-to contour when I don't use the NYX one. This is a newer palette, which is why it doesn't look like I've used it at all. Um, the Jeffree Star Platinum Ice. I do like this. Hmm. I do like this. I'm gonna hold on to it. And then this obviously stays. This is by Jacqueline. And Becca, I don't use this anymore. Maybe this is another thing I'm going to move out of here and put with the other stuff I can't use anymore. And then the glazed kit by Laura Lee Los Angeles. I love. I wish I would have not decluttered the bronze kit. I do really want that back. Okay. So, yeah. I feel like I kind of have to declutter the... Park Avenue Princess, though, because this drawer is so full. So I think we're going to do that. Sad. Okay. So last drawer. Be right back. Okay, the last little section I have is skincare, and we're going to go hard on this one, you guys. Like, I, I don't need all of this. I don't get to any of this, like, ever. So, yeah. We're definitely going to keep some, but some, a lot of this is going to go. So let's see. Right off the bat, eye masks. I do love eye masks. Hmm. But I already have another whole pack on my desk, so yeah, we'll get rid of these. We'll get rid of them. Face masks is gonna be the hard one because there's so many that I have. And like I keep them because they're so easy to store, you know? Like I love these 111 skins. I'm gonna get rid of this one for sure. I'll get rid of both the star skins. I think I'm gonna keep five. Oh, I missed. Oh, Tatcha definitely stays. So we're gonna keep six face masks, which is all one. This is technically a pack, but I just open it and put it in here, and then one Tatcha. We're gonna get rid of three of them though. Okay, so we're gonna set those aside, and now here comes the hard part. Okay. So let's start with this one. What are you? Firming belly cream. <laughs> Probably should keep that, but realistically, this stuff never works and I don't use it. So I'm gonna pass it. 
Then we have Exfolicate by Kate Somerville. Do love that. That is staying. Um, facial cleanser. I'm going to keep one cleanser, but we'll see which one I keep. We're going to get to that point. Bamboo body polish. I didn't even know I had this. Oh yeah, I just recently got this in like a subscription. Mmm, that smells amazing. But I have an entire body scrub in my shower right now. So like maybe I'll pass that actually. Yeah, we'll pass that. Citrus brightening cleanser. <laughs> okay, we're gonna like take all the cleansers out and set them aside for now. Eliminating diamond peel off mask. I feel like I've used this. Yeah, this needs to go. It's open so it's not good anymore. Oh, I have a little mini Kate Somerville. Oh, this is a cleanser. That's probably gonna be the one that stays now, isn't it? How old is this? <laughs> I mean, it's not open, so like it's fine, right? I don't know. Um, toning mist, no thank you. Oh, this little Murad guy is adorable. Are you an eye cream? Yes, so I will keep the eye cream because I just threw my other one away. Toner. I don't need a lot of toners, but we'll keep one. And then this is sunscreen, which I think is the only sunscreen I have, so we'll keep that. Yeah, we're going to keep... Well, actually, let's take all this stuff back out. I'm going to put the stuff that I'm passing in here for now. So we'll throw this guy in there because we're not going to keep him. We're not going to keep the birds. Oh, wait, this is pharmacy, though. Oh, I love pharmacy. Okay, um... I don't know, you guys. <laughs> Is two cleansers too many? I mean, I have an upstairs and a downstairs bathroom, so like one for upstairs, one for downstairs. Potentially, we're gonna keep that aside for now. Okay. Wonder Beauty Overnight Repair Concentrate. I don't need that. I won't ever use it. Oh, we have more exfoliate. Is this a moisturizer? I have a whole like exfoliate line that I didn't even know I had. That's staying. And then we're, of course, click Bean Glow Recipe because love her. Oh, no. This is a problem. This is a night serum. Oh, God. Okay. Fixie can go. I don't even know what you are. Moisturizer. Oh, I love moisturizers. But moisturizers are the thing that I do go through a lot. This is another moisturizer. Murad Sky. Oh, no. Mud Masky. Mud Sky. The Sky. Don't know what that is. Okay. Um, Rep. Moisture and Relief Mask, that can go. Thirst No More Moisturizer, ooh, this is so hard. I don't like the way this smells, so that can go. Murad, I wanna keep. Saturday Skin, I wanna keep, because I love these brands. So I have two moisturizers, three moisturizers. Wait, four? Oh no. I have four moisturizers. And an overnight repair cream. You know, honestly though, moisturizer is like the one thing I do go through. So if I'm gonna keep too many of something, it should be moisturizer. I have one sunscreen, so that's fine. I have one exfoliator, so that's fine. I have three cleansers. No, this is a toner. So I have one toner, so that's fine. Two cleansers. I don't, I don't need two cleansers. But I don't want to get rid of either of them. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm going to be so cutthroat. It's not. I didn't realize I had so much pharmacy and Kate Somerville, which are two of my favorite brands. That's, that's sad. I mean, but I have more that I can get rid of. Let's throw, let's throw all this in here just to make me feel better about myself. There we go. <laughs> Okay. I mean, honestly, though, it's not that bad. Realistically, I'm going to take this downstairs and put it in the downstairs bathroom because that's where I do most of, like, my skincare stuff. So this isn't going to take up any room up here anyway. So, yeah. That's it, you guys. <laughs> um, let me know if you want to see a video in the future where I show you, like, what my curated makeup collection is going to look like. I'm trying to fit 
all of it in that one free Jordan unit I have because I'm trying to, I have two channels. One is this channel, obviously, and then one is like a doll channel. So I'm trying to split my room basically down the middle so that I have a side dedicated to each. So I'm trying to condense the makeup down. So if that's something you want to see, let me know by liking this video, leave a comment down below, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys. <laughs>